Holy Saturday. What's happening, folks? Got the house looking real crispy right now. Nice, organized, car, spotless. Not necessarily washed, but, you know, everything in its place. Bedrooms coming together over time, you know. Getting this thing ready for Airbnb. We're getting it ready. Who's we? Me. Because I'm moving out. This place is too big for one person. I, ne I don't go upstairs for anything. I, seriously, I go up there and I just do nothing and then come back down. So it's time to stop that. Because what's the point of doing nothing? I'm just checking, making sure I got everything. We got our city gear on today. Uh, black oversized shirt from Cotton On. We got some Mavi jeans. Some classic white Reeboks. I want to make a call to my pop here in a minute. That's why I got my headset on. Oh yeah, let's go. Got to wash this up after, uh, what do I have today? ETX Coffee Club today. Dry cleaners, goal setting, business planning, about to get after it, folks. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. That's a pretty cool spot. Waiting on people to show up. Only a matter of time. 8.59. What's happening, squad? Yeah, if I look a little tired, well, just woke up from a nap. Had a little Mexicano sandwich. They call them a torta. The word sandwich and the word torta don't sound anything alike. I would say that a, a torta is a sandwich. Anyways, mm, a couple life updates. I went to New York this past weekend. The whole goal was to reflect on my past. You see, growing up, I had a kind of a troubling time because of what went on in my household. It wasn't, it wasn't one of the, the most um, peaceful periods of life for several reasons. It was the dynamic of my family, um, school, being in school was tough. Um, not knowing that I have got that I had obsessive compulsive disorder and how it would affect me on the daily it was very trying as well. A lot of a lot of things made it really tough <clears throat> growing up. So I went back back this time and I, I came from a different place. And what I mean by that is, you know, I've been building the business, I've been seeing some success, and I wanted to reconnect with my family and see where they came from. See who they really are. Because I'm different now. I see people differently. And I was able to do that. I had so many questions about history. And, and you know, basically, I got a lot of closure on that trip because all my family members said that they're proud of me. And sometimes they, sometimes they would tell me a few times over again, and you guys have no idea how much that meant to me because I'm telling you, I was kind of the black sheep of the family, but really I was just a byproduct of my environment. I never had bad, ill will or bad intentions. I was stressed out all the time being in the house. My dad was a high strung dude to say the least. And it caused a lot of anguish in the household. So... You know, you take that, you take social pressures, so on and so forth, add it up, and then you're going to see a kid that's going to act out. And um, really, I was just looking for help. My family members didn't even know. Like my aunts and uncles and my cousins, they didn't know what went on behind closed doors. They had no idea. So I got a little closure. I gave them some insight on that stuff. And they're like, what? They had, no, they had no clue. I said, yeah, this is what it was really like. That's why I was like that. And it was just adult conversation to chalk it up. Now, so 
So get this, I'm, uh, I had one real focus to go on this trip to New York. And that focus was to meet or to get to see my two grandparents. One I grew up with, one's a step-grandma. And our family dog named Buck. Buck's 15 years old. He's an old dog. His eyes are all red now. And he's like, just kind of losing it. So I get to see my first grandma. I surprise her in Pennsylvania. And she was like, oh my goodness gracious, who's this? It was so funny. <laughs> we had a good good visit with her. And then um, I was going to, oh, oh, New York City was the next day. Friday was New York City. And then Saturday morning, I was going to go up and see the next grandma and, and the family dog because they lived together. I get a call two times from my dad that morning. I'm like, what's he doing? Call me twice. What happened? So I pick up the phone. Sure enough, I missed her by a day. She left the earth early morning Saturday. I didn't even miss her by a day. I missed her by a couple hours. Um, it's all good. I mean, I talked to her on the phone. Two days beforehand, I was like, hey, I'm coming up to see you. She was like, oh, that sounds great. Yeah. Grandma Anna. 90, 91 years old. 91. Some other news. Other news. Um, traveling back on Monday from New York, and I get this email from a lawyer. I'm thinking to myself, I feel like I thought I didn't have anything to do with these guys for another couple months. They sent me this email. I kind of overlooked it because I was four hours of sleep, traveling, business stuff. And I opened it up again Tuesday just to double check, just make sure I didn't miss anything. Now, I was under the impression that I needed to go in front of the judge one more time. And the judge will give the, th the thumbs up and say, all right, do you agree to the terms? Yes. Do you agree to the terms? Yes. Bam, signs it, and then you're officially the D word, which I don't even like saying. Um, well, turns out that the court system is just changing the way they do things, and they already signed off on it on Monday. So I emailed my lawyer. I said, hey, wait a second. Does this mean I don't need to go in front of the judge again? She goes, no, as of Monday, you are officially Splitsville with the, uh, the wife. And... You know, that whole process is one of the most daunting and trying things of, of one's life. Um, it's darkness. It is darkness. And there's always diamonds that come from pressure, pressure times. I would say a lot of wisdom, a lot of patience came from this process. It's only been about a week. It's not fun. I feel for anybody that has to go through it. Darkness. My suggestion if you're going through something like that is fill your calendar. Fill it right up. Take time to reflect for yourself because you're going to need to. And fill that calendar right up. Stay busy. Well, Memorial Day weekend. It is Memorial Day weekend. Monday's Memorial Day. Today's Saturday. Thanks for listening to this check-in video, this little life update thing. And again, you know, if you're wondering why, why I do this, it's because when I'm 100 years old, I want to be able to look back on my life, reflect. Also, any family I might have, I want them to have, uh, have some memories of me. And also, perhaps my family members can learn from me, learn how I did stuff and who I am. So, you guys should do it too. Just document your life. Why not? Why not? Share. Share with the world. There's somebody out there that's going to learn from you, from your experiences. Uh, only thing i got left to say here is, you guessed it. Thanks for watching and stay fired up.